Well, Mark, rather a, a breathless first game of the season. Enjoyable for the, for the neutral. What about the Vanity? Really exciting game. Um, obviously going 1 0 down, and then we thought we controlled possession first half, created some great chances, scored a really good goal, and um, I was happy at half time. I um, thought we started the game the second half really well. Um, on a really heavy pitch, a really heavy day. I think Colchester's game was called off. It just goes to show the amount of rain we've had. And, you know, the way they set up was excellent. Two banks of four and two centre forwards dropping in. Um, and they had us on the counter a couple of times. But when we got the second goal, we went 2-1 two, two up. I was a little bit disappointed, obviously, to concede straight away. But I thought then when the subs come on, they made a great impact. And I thought the winner was going to come, but it didn't. Um, but a real positive start. Jordan with two, uh, you could have had more. Yeah, two different goals. The, the first one, great finish, um, and the second one, he just, you know, he kept, he was persistent, wasn't he? He took that touch, got it out of his feet, and whipped it in. And I said, Ben led one on the plate, but credit to the goalkeeper, he, he half read it and spread himself really well. And I thought he was probably man of the match second half, their goalkeeper. But for Jordan, that's great for his confidence, isn't it? Because he would have liked more goals last season, so to start off with a couple of them. His game time was limited because of the way we played, um, and he knows he's our number nine now. Um, nobody works harder than him, I said that before the game. If I was a centre half, I'd hate to play against him. And he's hit the ground running, which is really pleasing for Kings Lynn. Um, but credit as well to you know Ben Stevens and Barrett, they were surrounded with chances today. Some of their movement was really, really good. and. You know, the way we created those chances, our little phases of play, we'll win a lot of games at home if we play. And the last 10-15 minutes were frantic, chances at both ends, but yeah, Lynn had the lion's share, so it's disappointing not to have taken one at all. Again, they're, in, they're sub made an impact on the left-hand side, and you know, without really work, working Paul Jones, they look threatening on the counter, um, but credit to our subs that come off the bench. You know, Ishmael had a great attempt at the end, and the goalie made a good save, and with two corners at the death, and then a debutant and Tom Clifford created a, a great chance for us, and Crowder couldn't quite get his body round. But as I said, the way we played, I, I was really, really pleased with the chances that we created. Against the side, as you said last week, you, you didn't know what you were going to find, no. find today because they've signed so many new ones. No, I didn't. And when you've got an assistant manager playing, you can tell they're going to be organised. You know, I thought Rooney was excellent up top, and he, he controlled you know his midfield behind him and a strike partner. Um, and credit to Paul Callis, I think that they're a very good side and you know, it's a good point. Two of you did from the start, are mm -hmm. you pleased with, it, with that contribution? Yeah, very, very pleased. Um, I think the fans can see they're attacking, um, but then on the flip side, some of them be one defending was really, really good. And Kean grew, in, grew into the game, I think both of them grew into the game and you know, as we got that sustained possession in their half, they were our outlets and you can see the quality both of them have in the opposition half. It's really, really pleasing and I think the forwards are going to enjoy their crosses and balls into the box. There were one or two errors in the, in the second half, mm -hmm. we didn't turn out and sniff one opportunity, but I think the conditions played a part in those? Well, certainly, I think most of their chances come from us. He said at half time, don't get frustrated because you know there were two banks of four and two forwards drop, uh, dropping back in. but. Overall, I didn't think we did get that frustrated. You know, maybe with the odd loose pass, but it was raining the whole game. The pitch was heavy, but credit to Ollie the groundsman, it's held up really, really well. I think last year we were completely caught up. So, yeah, we a little bit of our problems were creating, you know, through ourselves making little mistakes, but those can get ironed out. I don't think we'll get a real fitness to six, seven games in. And as I said, it's, it's a squad game, and I'm so happy with the three boys that come on and the impact they made. In the midfield area, great to see Cam back, isn't it? After for the, uh, yeah. the trauma of, of last season. For him. True, he's, he's only played, uh, he's not even played 90 minutes in pre season, but he trains like nobody else in the squad, so it was no problem with throwing him in. And um, yeah, his energy and him and Husey in there with the two tens, it was, um, it's really, really pleasing and something we can build on. And, and on, on off the bench, well, he had that lot, but you know, at least that's a different bit of armour. Different dimension. I think he pinned their centre half in the box once, led it to Tom. He was bombing forward in the 80th minute, and probably Tom should have, knew he should have shot with his right foot. Um, but he gives us that. He's, as I said a few weeks ago, he's a great kid. He wants to learn. He knows he's got to fight his way into the team. And there's, there was um, no disappointment not starting. He knew his role would be off the bench today. And yeah, really pleased with him. Main thing is not to lose in the first game of the season. Yeah, it is. It is. I haven't checked the results yet, but. Um, I think Witt said it was a good point because I think there's two good sides out there and I think the fans appreciated it and I appreciate their support on the far side and 
got clapped off the end, so it's a good sign. Yeah, I think if everyone can see this every week, they'll be Yeah, and in not such terrible conditions, you know. So if, I think our passing style would shoot a slick pitch, but not a heavy pitch. And um, you know, you can see with our forwards' movements and hitting the ball and stuff from the break. Um, and then, as you said, Q gives us that different dimension. And we've got little Ishmael who comes off the bench, who's a live wary. He made a real impact in less than 10 minutes. So pleasing going forward, as I said, the only disappointment was just straight after our goal. But these things happen, and then we're not going to dwell on it too much. And with the new guys, is it a case of trick feeding them in throughout the campaign? Probably, yeah. Hopefully. Um, look, pre season is a time to give people minutes, and, and now. It's disappointing you can't get everybody on because I think you can see with the new rules they're going to add six minutes on in each half. So it would have been nice to get all five. I could have put all five on if they had the opportunity. But um, they'll they'll wait the chance and they'll be ready and they'll work hard the next Monday, Tuesday and be ready for selection for next Saturday, which we're looking forward to going up to Chester already. Do you think we should have had a penalty or something early doors when uh, we the arm went in the bin? So what? Uh, Luckily enough, we've got the analysis now and we saw it at half time and it was a free kick outside the box. And it looked worse in real time. <laughs> the other covering defender was coming across, but um, it's one of those you might get a straight red for that because he could have been seen as last man. Um, ben felt it was a red card. Um, I thought it was in the box at the time, but when I watched it back, the contact did happen outside. Um, but to go 1 0 down, we should have had that penalty and then we scored and so I was pleased, pleased at half time. Things just didn't go our way to get the three points, but we'll take it. Um, Tommy Hughes, there's a lot of talk about him. Obviously, he has gone, various other players have gone. A lot of responsibility on the shots. How do you think he reacted today to that? Excellently. Yeah, Tommy, excellently. He's been great all pre season. Um, I think the, the guys left early in the transfer window, so we had a conversation in, in our holidays, and I said it's your chance to shine. And he's had a really good start in pre-season and a good 90 minutes today. I don't think he's played too many 90 minutes for us, and he's been here since last Christmas. And um, that he's one of four excellent midfielders that we've got different skill set to the two that's left. First goal, he drifted past someone and slid Jordan in, and um, yeah, really, really uh, excited about his, his year that's going to come up. I don't know how you feel about changing the side with one goal and the loss, but with a performance like that today, and you're away to a, like a team victory, mm -hmm. do you think, I can't change it? Or? Uh, firstly, you have to see how everybody come through, because there's a few knocks, so they have the really heavy pitch. Um, we've got, it's nice to not have that midweek game, so we've got four training sessions to look at it, and we might go two up top the way we finished. You know, I've got those options, which is really good, really good. Um, but notice from that since for Tommy, or the goalkeeper. Um, um, we, we saw he, he got an arm injury last week. He gets in. Yeah, he got that arm injury last week, so we'll know more on Monday how he is. Um, yeah, there's nothing major, we just we just have to assess it this week. Jordan Ponticelli, just going back to him, he, he looked as though the same player who started last season again. He, Electrifying time, isn't it? He? Mm, he's such a good professional. So he's had a pre season playing, not been injured. He's a great runner, first and foremost. So, as I say, he gives us that option of stretching teams and the space for the two tens. Whereas last year, we're probably a bit more uh, direct into a bigger man. But uh, he's, he's, he's a good player, he's a good start. I'm going to keep him on his toes. He's got We've got options with Q and, and Ben Stevens and Ishmael looking to play up there. Um, I'm so happy that he's hit the ground running. If I remember rightly, I don't think he had a full pre season. He didn't arrive until late last summer, did That's he? Right. So, yeah. what difference has it made to him having the full pre season? Yeah, it has made a difference because he's been involved from straight away the Norwich game. And um, so, that, those seven games available selection, he made only had two last year. Um, to get two goals in the first day of the season, he must be full of confidence, and I'm really pleased for him.